Hi, welcome to SRBKL 1010 Prayer Online. Thank you so much for joining me tonight as we continue on the series of knowing God as your Father. Now on Monday, I shared about knowing God as a Father and how He leveraged His great love to His children. And on Tuesday, I shared about knowing God as a Father by trusting Him. Now tonight, I want to share on another aspect of the team, knowing God as a father, your provider. Now, just like every father, especially our Asian culture, the language of love is by providing. And very seldom, you know, you see our Asian father will hug their children or kiss their children. They always show love by providing. Now, in the same way, we see God is your father and he provides like every good father will do. Now let's read into the scriptures. Let us turn to Genesis chapter 22, verse 13 and 14. If you can, read it along with me. And it says, Abraham looked up and there in the ticket, he saw a ram caught by his horns. He went over and took the ram and sacrificed it as a burnt offering instead of his son. So Abraham called the place, the Lord will provide. And to this day, it is said, on the mountain of the Lord, it will be provided. So Abraham obediently brought his son Isaac up to the mountain to sacrifice him, trusting that God will provide a substitute. So when Abraham was getting ready to sacrifice his only son, an angel of the Lord called up to him and said, Stop! And there was a ram in the bush, and Abraham used the animal instead of his son to be sacrificed. Just when Abraham thought he had no other option, God provided a ram as a substitute for the sacrifice. Now for the first time, God revealed himself as Jehovah Jireh, the Lord our provider. Indeed, God is the source of providing our needs. Now, I sense some of you are facing a situation. You, f you felt very stuck, cornered, and there is no other options. You are concerned over many things, but I want to encourage you that God never let His children down and He will not let you down. Let's focus on your provider, not your problem. God will provide new opportunity when one is closed. He will open another option to meet your needs. So we need to wait on Him while He works out His providence for you. Just like Abraham, when he thought he has no other option but to sacrifice his son, God provided a substitute. You know, my family was staying in an apartment and as my children were getting older. We find there was not enough place for them to, to play. So one day, in our family altar, we prayed and we submit our need to our Lord for a landed property. I was on the road one day and I saw an ongoing project in a very suitable location. I inquired but was told that the project is fully sold. I check out who the developer is and I call the office. The office told me the same thing, that the project is fully sold. And I told the officer, can I leave my number to you just in case if someone, you know, return the units, you can call me. So I brought this up to my family again and we came together and we prayed for God to provide for us a way if it is his delight to bless us a home in this place. So one week later, I received a call from the developer's office and there is one unit available for me. And not only that, I was given discount from the original price. Praise God, our family experienced God's providence. When we pray together and submit our need to him, surely, we have known God as our provider and He alone is our source. So I would like you 
right now, you know, I just want to sing, you know, to our Lord that this very familiar song as a declaration that God is indeed our provider. So come along and lift up your voice together and sing it. Jehovah Jireh, my provider is grace, is sufficient for me, for me, for me. Jehovah Jireh, my provider is grace, is sufficient for me. My God shall supply all my needs according to his riches in glory. He will give his angels charge over me. Jehovah Jireh cares for me, for me, for me. Jehovah Jireh cares for me. Just worship him. My God shall supply all my needs. According to his riches in glory, he will give his angels charge over me. Jehovah Jireh cares for me. Jehovah Jireh cares for me. Now tonight before you sleep, I want to remind you that God is the provider and He shall supply all your needs and He cares for you. Let me pray for you. Father God, we thank you. You are the source of our needs. You are Jehovah Jireh, our provider, and you are El Shaddai, the all-sufficient God. And we thank you, God, for you know our needs even before we come to you. You know, Lord, our concern and you are working out a plan for us. You are the source of our all provision and you have a solution to every situation. Father, we look up to you. No, oh Lord, make a way where there seems to be no way. Your word says in Isaiah 43 verse 19, that Lord, that you says, I am making a way in the desert and streams in this wasteland. Father, you are in control of every situation, every toughest situation that we face. We are thankful that you are figuring out a way for us, God, for you know what is best for us, that we would not need to worry. So forgive us, God, for doubting, for worrying, and trying so hard, God, to work our way out on our own. I pray, Lord, that you will strengthen our faith, to trust you and help us, God, in our unbelief. We thank you, Father, for lavishing your great love for God to us, for you who do not spare your only Son, but give Him up for us all. How were you not also? O oh Lord, we cry, graciously give us all things. Father, we will keep our eyes, just focus on you and you only. And thank you for encouraging us to agree with your word. In Philippians chapter 4, 19 says that God is able to meet our needs according to his riches in glory. Hallelujah. So be exalted above the heavens, O God. Let your glory be above all the earth through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Now I want to continue to pray for those who need a prayer for healing. Yeah, a provision for good health. Let's pray. Father God, we come to your throne and submit those who need prayer for healing. Father, your word says in 3 John chapter 1, verse 2, I can prosper in hell even as my soul prosper. So hear our prayer, Lord, as we call out on your unfailing love. Hallelujah for healing and recovery for those of God who are in need. Refresh, God, their spirit to allow your word to penetrate through the God, their body, soul, and spirit. Thank you, Father. You are restoring to the sick what was destroyed. And you, Lord, you will provide new cells, of God, to revitalize the body. We praise you, Lord, for the way you have provided and the benefits of knowing you as our Father and giving us the fullness of life through our Lord Jesus Christ. So may the Lord, our Father, may the love of our Father, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the wonderful fellowship of the Holy Spirit 
be with you until we meet again. And everybody says, Amen. Now spend some time to pray together as a family or as a self and meditate on the passage of Scripture. So good night and I see you tomorrow. Thank you.